Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Long Shot. Let's do it. Long Shot is a comedy romance from director Jonathan Levine and Entertainment One. The film stars Charlize Theron, Seth Rogen, June Diane Raphael, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Ravi Patel, Bob Odenkirk, Alexander Skarsgård, and an unrecognizable Andy Serkis. When Fred Flarsky reunites with his first crush, one of the most influential women in the world, Charlotte Field, he charms her. As she prepares to make a run for the presidency, Charlotte hires Fred as her speechwriter and sparks fly. Wow, what a terribly written premise. Fortunately, I didn't write it. I got it from IMDb. Let's move on. Long shot. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. It's very funny. The humor has teeth, which I like, and it's also very sweet. Yeah, it gets a little schmaltzy at times because rom-com, but because I bought into the characters and the relationship, it worked. And Theron and Rogan are absolutely wonderful together. Their chemistry is darn near perfect. I kind of want to see them hook up in real life now. Then you've got President Bob Odenkirk. No, he's not playing himself. He's playing the president. I thought he was hilarious. I love Bob Odenkirk. Alexander Skarsgård is sort of playing a parody of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. I thought that was great. And O'Shea Jackson Jr., he's not in the movie that much, but when he's on screen, he is absolutely hilarious. He actually got the biggest laugh from me out of the whole movie. It's towards the end. I was laughing so hard, I was almost crying. And this movie is a big shout out to geek culture. Maybe not to the expect of something like a Ready Player One, but there are a whole bunch of references to the MCU and Game of Thrones. And this movie came out a week after Endgame, and while the final season of Game of Thrones is still running, I think they knew what they were doing. Also, if you're really behind on Game of Thrones, there's a pretty big spoiler for season seven in this movie. I got your back, and the soundtrack's really, really good too. My only big issue really was that the movie did not need to be two hours. It's paced really well, it doesn't feel like it's boring, but there were certain scenes that didn't really add anything, they didn't need to be there. Having said that, I'm comfortable saying that this is one of the best comedies of the year so far, easily. Long shot is funny, it's charming, it's got a lot of heart, Charlize, and Seth, they just, they kill it together. I would love to see them do another flick at some point. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Longshot, and I think I'm gonna give Longshot a... You know how you made it really funny is because the image of me and you, like, like, me naked in a pool with, like, a fat garden gnome, like... <laughs> out of 10. So now I want to know, have you seen Longshot? What did you think about it? What is your favorite comedy of the year so far? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. And I just want to say quickly, I know my reviews this weekend are a little bit late. I spent the last week covering the Toronto Hot Docs Documentary Festival. So if you're into documentaries, check back to this channel soon. I'm going to have a bunch of reviews coming up in the next little bit. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.